Hey guys, Aronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the Ogren Faction Crypt, Stage 21, and before I get into the Ogren Faction Crypt, Stage 21, uh, I did complete it the other day. I just wanted to show you uh, the champions that I utilized to beat that stage. Alright, so to start off, we have Ignatius. Ignatius is a really good champion. He is a legendary champion. Um, and I put him in a lifesteal set. So Ignatius doesn't have a ton of health, but he has good speed, good crit rate, good crit damage. Not 100% crit rate, but uh, it's halfway decent. It got the job done. So he is at 29,000 HP, 2,500 defense, 209 speed, 85% crit rate, and 185% crit damage. 269 resist, so he's resisting the boss quite a bit uh, from those fears, true fears. Um, and then accuracy 203, which is just enough to get the, his abilities off. Um, he doesn't need accuracy to land his turn to Ash because it's the HP burn on all enemies, which cannot be resisted. Uh, it's 100% when you book him out, but only 75% if he's not booked. His battle shot ability helped a lot because on waves, he can provoke the waves and allow to be attacked himself. And because he has the lifesteal set, he was able to heal himself back up. Um, the next champion I used, Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher is a very good champion as well. I actually have my Skull Crusher in my clan boss team. Uh, I did put Skull Crusher in a Toxic set. Um, he's defense on the boots with crit rate and speed, double roll. Defense on the chest plate with crit rate and HP and speed. And then resistance on the uh, shield with some speed and HP. Crit rate, defense, and accuracy on the helmet. And then I put speed and HP on the gauntlets. Um, let's see, defense on the ring. Crit damage on the amulet. And resistance on the banner. Um, of course, um, you don't need his res resistance to be that high, honestly, at all. You can just build him super tanky because he has a nice passive ability which is unshakable, decreases the duration of all debuffs on this champion by one turn at the start of each turn. So all debuffs, the duration of all debuffs. So he's going to be, anytime he gets like a provoke on him or if he gets a stun on himself, he's going to remove that and then take a turn. If he gets a fear, he's going to remove the fear when he takes a turn so it's really nice. Uh, his ability with the stone wall is great um, so it allows him to protect all the allies on the team, place himself under unkillable, and do counterattacks on your whole team as well. He does have an aura in Faction Crypts for resistance of 45. You can also utilize him as the aura lead if you wanted to as well. Uh, super good champion. His total stats, 52k HP, 3700 defense, only 172 speed. You want him going slower than the rest of your team so everybody can get hits in, and then he places the counterattack. 196 resistance. Of course, he's not resisting everything, but he's resisting some things once in a while. And then masteries, I did complete his masteries. I went down with War Master and then counterattack masteries over here. Um, for Ignatius, his masteries, War Master. And then on the right side, I used support. Went with Evil Eye and Master Hexer to extend the HP burns. Then I also use Shatter Bones. Shatter Bones is actually a really good attack champion. I put him in a stun set. He does have a triple hit on his hail ability. Uh, and also has a chance to decrease the turn meter by 30%, which is really cool. And then War Cry places a 15% decrease speed debuff on all enemies for two turns and fills the turn meters of allies by 25%. This is actually a very underrated champion. I don't see people use him in, um, in arena offense at all, which I'm surprised. You can actually use him as a niche uh, champion in arena if you wanted to just boost the turn meter of all your allies by 25%. This is really good on a five turn cooldown. And then he can also decrease turn meter even further with his hail ability. So if you wanted to, he could start off with war cry, and then he could go into hail and really help in arena. He also has arena battle accuracy, which is nice, but it's not going to help you in faction wars. And then on his A1, place a 25% increase attack buff on all allies if he hits a critical hit. Um, so good champion. Uh, his total stats, 31k HP, 202 speed, 64% crit rate. 217 crit damage and 214 accuracy which is just enough to land his abilities 
And of course his masteries are not complete, but I went with Evil Eye over here so it could help against the boss. Uh, the next champion, I actually tried to use Grunge to kill Joy, but it didn't work out. I'm going to skip over him though. Claude Beast Feeder. For Claude, he's a good champion, like a really, really solid champion. So Claude keeps your team alive. He places really nice shields. He's only level 50 for me, but I have him at 55k HP. He's low on the defense, but that's not a big deal. 193 speed. You don't really need to put damage on him. That's not really what he's there for. He, I put him with high resistance and no accuracy. You don't really need the accuracy on him, but I'll showcase his abilities in a second. Um, that was weird. Get that back to this guy. All right, so masteries. Um, I went down with Evil Eye. I went with health with bigger shields and healing as well. So, and then I put uh, Life Drinker on himself so he can heal himself a little bit in case he gets targeted by the boss. I would, and his abilities are really, really good by the way. So before I get to the abilities, I'm gonna look at his, his artifacts right now. So for his boots, I did put HP percent boots with speed and resistance. All right, I've had these boots for a long time. I kind of just switch them off and on different support champions. They're actually pretty nice boots. Um, HP chest plate for a mortal with speed and defense and resistance. HP on the gauntlets with crit damage, accuracy. There's no speed. Like these aren't really the greatest gauntlets for HP, but they're halfway decent. I keep them because of the accuracy and crit damage. Um, the shield's pretty basic with one roll on speed. One roll on speed on the helmet, and then speed on the attack amulet or attack artifact. He's got a defense ring and an HP amulet. Um, and again, total stats 55k HP. If I were to upgrade him, I would probably put an HP banner on him with hopefully HP rolls and speed, and he would be really, really good. He's a solid character. So his abilities, real quick. His A1 attacks one enemy, 30% chance of placing a decreased crit rate. Um, it's good for the boss on Faction Wars, but I, I don't think it's necessary. You don't need to put accuracy on this guy. You just want to put a lot of health on him, get him rotating his abilities. If you can put him in a Relentless set, he would be insane because he can keep on putting up his um, A2 right here. Places a shield buff on all allies equal to 20% of this champion's max HP for two turns. This is a clutch ability on the, on the boss. Every time he places that shield, so 55k, 20% of 55k, I mean, do the math. It's a nice shield. And then places on his A3, 30% increased speed and 50% increased accuracy buff on all allies. So you don't have to put everybody's accuracy that high. You just use this ability and it helps you along the way. Um, it's on a three turn cooldown if you book it out. I don't have him booked out at all. And then his passive is even better. Like. This passive is really good. Heals the ally with the lowest HP by 10% of their max HP at the start of this champion's turn. Claude Beast Feeder is a very underrated champion. If you have this guy, build him out. He's actually really good. He's great for progression, dungeons. He's good for Doom Tower. Um, I would also utilize him in your arena defense if you wanted to use, use him there as well. You can use him in your arena offense if you wanted to as well by if you wanted to utilize his um, increased speed and increased accuracy on all allies if you're having trouble stripping buffs from the enemies so this guy all around is just a really good champion it just depends on how you want to use him the next champion I utilized of course we've got gear grinder gear grinder is a very good champion I put him in a relentless set 43k HP 1700 defense 168 speed so he's on the slower side um, 244 resistance, so he's resisting the debuffs from the from the boss on the, on the faction war stage 21. Um, he does have speed boots, chest plate resistance with a quad roll on HP. So this is actually a really good chest plate. I'm never gonna get rid of this chest plate because of the quad roll on HP. I think that's my first quad roll on HP, so that's nice. HP on the gauntlets, no speed. You notice that there's no speed anywhere, and that's why he's so slow. Um, he does have speed on the other gear at top, so speed here on this crit rate divine set, and then speed here on the last relentless piece, but it's a kind of a weak piece, honestly. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. I do have defense or HP defense on the ring, 
and HP on the amulet. So if I were to upgrade him, I would probably go with defense or resistance on the banner and then more speed would be nice. Um, for his masteries, I did go with some of the masteries. I, I did go with uh, Whirlwind of Death, so anytime one of the wave champions, one of the wave's enemies, the adds, if I get them really low on health, I would use this guy to kill him. So that way, his speed would go up a little bit higher by the time you get to the boss, and the speed would go up by about 18. Um, and then of course I did delay death in case the boss decides to attack him. Uh, so that's the champions that I utilized and then his skills of course he's fully booked I mean it just takes rare books you might as well fully book them and you really want the books to go into necro cogs um, so that he can revive one random ally or revives one dead ally for 50% HP and 50% turn meter uh, and it's on a five turn cooldown so in all honesty if you don't want to book him out fully just try to land two books in the necro cogs ability and you'll be just fine Alright, so those are all the champions I utilize. Now obviously you can use Bellower as well, you can use Grush the Mangler, you can use a Colt Brawler, these are all really good champions, I just didn't use them myself. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the video, roll you the clip, but uh, if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video, and subscribing to the channel would be great, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot of you out there who watch my videos and are not subscribed, so I'd say about 70 or 80% of the viewers that I have are not subscribed to my channel, so please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and so much for watching, and take care.